How's it going guys and back to another episode we're going to learn about something called regular expressions inside PHP. Now when it comes to regular expressions we use these together with strings in order to go inside the string and see if we have a certain set of characters that exist inside the string and if it does then we can return a true or false statement. We can also use regular expressions in order to replace characters inside the string. So we use regular expressions a lot when it comes to something like error handlers when a user submits a form in order to check if they did it correctly. So it's very important that you learn about regular expressions before you start doing a lot of complicated scripts that require user input because they're really useful when it comes to checking if the data they typed in is actually correct. So inside my document here you guys can see that I have a basic string that is equal to a variable and I'm going to be using this string together with the functions in order to show you guys what exactly we can use these regular expressions for. So when it comes to a regular expression let me actually go ahead and show you guys how it actually looks like. So when we have a regular expression we put them inside first of all a string and in between two forward slashes. So whatever we put inside in between the forward slashes becomes a regular expression. Okay so to give you guys an example here, let's actually go ahead and use the first function called prec underscore match. So I'm going to say prec underscore match parentheses semicolon and what this function does is that it goes in and takes a certain string like the one we have up here and then searches the string in order to see if we have a certain set of characters inside the string here. So if we go inside the the function down here. The first parameter is going to be the regular expression we want to search for inside the string. So I'm going to say we have forward forward slash and then I can go ahead and type something in between the forward slashes. So I could say Daniel which is what I want to search for inside the string and then the second parameter is going to be the string that I want to search inside of. So what happens now is that we do actually get a true or false statement because it does actually check if Daniel is inside the string up here. So what we could do here and what we usually do is that we put this inside an if statement. So I'm going to say if and then inside the condition I'm just going to paste in what we have here like so. Paste it inside the condition and if I do actually have Daniel inside the string then I want to say something inside Dave's statement. So I can actually echo it is a match. Then I can go inside the website, refresh and as you guys can see we then get it is a match. Now if we go back inside the code again we do have an optional third parameter we can use inside the, the function we have here. So if we want to have an array with the result inside of it I can go and add the third parameter and say that it's going to be equal to a variable called array just to call it something. And what I can then do is I can go inside here and instead of saying echo I can for example say print underscore r and then get the array and print it inside the website so we can actually see what we do actually have inside the array here. Now one thing you guys may notice is that we do only get one result from inside the function here. If we were to go back inside the function you guys can actually see that inside the string I have Daniel here and I have Daniel over here but we're only getting one result. And that's because the prick match function only goes in and checks if we do have this statement down here existing inside the string. And it's just going to ignore everything else as soon as it finds the first result inside the string here. Now if I want to have all the results printed out inside an array, what I can instead use is something called the prick match underscore all function which goes in and takes all the results from inside the string and inserts it inside an array. So if we were to save this, go back inside the browser, you guys will notice that we do get more results. Now just to make sure you guys can actually see this correctly I'm just going to go ahead and view the page source instead. And one thing you guys are also going to notice is that even though we get two results they're going to be inserted inside an array within another array. And you might be asking why do we have a multidimensional array inside the result here. Well the reason for that is that if I were to go back inside the code and do a second search inside the same function here I can actually go ahead and do that and then the second result is going to be inserted inside a new array inside the multidimensional array. So we have an array that has many arrays inside of it. Okay. Now one thing I want to point out here before we start doing multiple searches inside one expression is that me writing Daniel like this is the same thing as me writing Daniel inside a pair parentheses here because we're just doing one expression inside the parentheses. Which means that if we were to go out and just delete the parentheses and say okay 
I also want to see if we have an I inside the string. So I can actually say parentheses around an I, which means that now this is the same as doing this right here, putting parentheses outside the entire search and outside the NI. So now we're actually doing two searches inside one expression. So if we were to just go ahead and delete the outer parentheses, go inside my website and refresh the browser, you guys can see that we get a second array inside the array here. And I'm just going to go inside my other view here so you guys can better see it. And as you guys can see, we get a second array. So right now, if we were to refer to some of the data in here, I need to refer to the first array and then one of the other arrays inside the first array. So if we were to go inside my code here and say I want to not print R, but instead I want to echo the array variable we have here. And I would like to echo out the first array, which is the main array we have outside the other arrays. And then I want to echo out one of the arrays inside that array. So I can do the first one or the second one. So if I were to just go ahead and save it, go inside the browser, refresh, you guys can see we get Daniel. Now the last function I want to show you guys related to regular expressions is one called prec underscore replace. And this basically goes in and replaces some of the characters that we've inside the string here with another set of characters that we decide beforehand. So if we were to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and delete the if statement we have down here because we don't need to do this using a if statement. I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of this and insert the prec match function inside just one line. And remember to have the semicolon at the end here. Now I'm going to set this one to prec underscore replace. And I'm actually going to set this one equal to a variable because we want to, when we change the string up here, if I were to just echo the string afterwards, let me actually go ahead and do that. Down here, just gonna say echo the string here. Even though we change the string using the prec replace function down here, it's still going to account the same string as we have up here. So we need to set the prec underscore replace function equal to another variable. And then we echo out that variable down here instead. So I'm going to say we have a variable called string2, just to be creative, and set it equal to prec underscore replace. Now, of course, we also need to go in here and do a couple of changes. First of all, I just want to replace Daniel inside the string. And then the second parameter is going to be what I want to replace it with. So I'm going to insert some kind of text here. I could say John. So we get John inside the string instead of Daniel. And then the third parameter is going to be the string that we want to use in this case here. So I'm just going to copy the string name from up here and paste it instead of the array variable we have down here. I'm also going to go ahead and echo out the string two instead of string without anything and save it and go inside the browser. And now you guys will notice that we have my name is John. John is my name. So this is how we can use some of the functions related to regular expressions. And when it comes to regular expressions, there's so much more we can talk about because just simply writing Daniel inside the expression is not really that advanced. So in the next episode, we're going to learn how to do more advanced searches when it comes to regular expressions. So we don't just write Daniel or something inside the expression here. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.